live with Kitty and Amit Lal. Guys, so we're just waiting until a few more people come on. Today we'll be doing a glitter look, and most of the products that I'll be using today are actually budget friendly because not everybody's a makeup artist and I'll have the most expensive brands to use at their disposal. So yeah, we're gonna do something like a multicolored cut crease with an ombre lip. Hi Amelia. Hi. Hi Hema. Okay so last time we did faces but today we're gonna do eyes. Because we're using glitter today it would be harder to get glitter off of already done foundation face so that's why we're gonna do eyes. Hi Caroline. Hi Castillan. We're using the City Colors Primer Spray, very inexpensive from Wonderful World. So you just give the face a, a general spray. Hi Marissa. Hi Marissa. Hi Ritu. Now we're gonna use the Clinique. Okay, this one isn't budget friendly, but the Clinique dramatically different moisturizer gel. Depending on the fans. Yes, <laughs> So depending on the fans' skin type, then you could decide which one of the Clinique moisturizers you're gonna use. See, now she has combination skin. I'm using the gel. but I have to find somewhere to go now.
Thank you, Hema. Is it much better now? Remember yeah, to feather the head of the brow so you get a more natural effect, right? Sarah is excited for the live, but I'm excited because I get my face beat by the comment long. <laughs> Sarah is used to my makeup as well. So. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I'll be picking you up when I finish. So get ready by the time. Hey, Ma, say she next, okay? Hey, Ma. Yeah. Sure. As long as y'all are. As long as y'all are willing to come to a room, I have no problem with that, and as long as I have the time. I always remember brows are not sisters, I mean twins, they're sisters, so it doesn't need to be perfectly even. Sarah, Sorry, don't worry. That would that would that will be coming soon. Lauren, say hi, Amber. Hi, Lauren. Yes, every time you hand on my face, I feel to sleep. He hands so light. <laughs> say hands so light. It's like magic. Don't worry, Marissa. I, I, I'm considering that brow workshop as long as everybody is willing to come. Maybe next year, early next year. So now we're using the L'Oreal True Match Concealer in about two and a half shades lighter than our skin tone to clean up the brow. Then I'm using Shania uh, watching. <laughs> Shania didn't look at my last live, you know. It's only because Katrina and it, that's why she's looking at it today. <laughs> now I'm using a Sasha Cosmetics um, buffing brush. I don't usually use brushes that are made for purposes. I use anything for whatever purpose I want it for. So, so you buff any concealer away before it has the opportunity to dry. Always blending downwards because you don't want the product to go back into the brow after you've taken your time to it. So just, just, just basically, you, you can't eliminate the step, but I like to do it, so I do it. Shania say she watched it, but she saw it like two hours after the everyday makeup look. Oh, okay, Shania. <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> I 
I was just joking actually. Uh. Now I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer now in a shade closer to her complexion, which is the fawn, just to go over the eyes with, which is just to cancel out any darkness on the lids and to create a smooth canvas for the shadow. And today I'm going to be doing like a glitter cut crease, kind of something, something. Her love and the brows, me too, girl. Honey. Oh. Show him on no problem, I would appreciate that. So we're gonna go in with NOX eyeshadow base in neutral on the lid. Only on the lid. Then I'm going back in with the same brush that I used to apply the concealer just now, just to blend it out. Now I am going in with the RCMA Colorless Translucent Powder just to set the eyeshadow base. Morphe 35B palette and I'll be using this kind of peachy pink color as a transition color for the look today. Remember what I told you guys last time, blending is key, so blend until your wrist breaks out. Always remember that. Okay, it's so good. I 
Lauren wants to know. Every day, Lauren. A good and expensive blending brush is this one from Color. You can get this at Wonderful World, at I think Pennywise so has it too, and Super Farm. If not, if you want like a slightly larger one, this one is an unbranded one. I actually bought this yesterday at Sassy Sweet. They have a sale going on, but I think it finished yesterday. So, but this one was only $25, and it, as you can see, it does a good job. Right. Welcome. So after that, we're going in with this kind of magenta color. We're going, so the first color that we placed was the transition shade. So this one will be our base color for the crease. After that, we're going to go in with this purple color from the palette. How much you charge for the face, Melissa? Melissa, you could inbox me and I can share that information with you. But I'm not expensive. I can let you, that from, let you know that I'm very affordable. So this color is going on the outer V. This is to add depth and dimension to the eyes. I do house calls, yes. But then you would look the same way every day. So everybody would know. This is makeup by Amit Lab. I'd be on point every day. When you're doing your eyes and you're doing a dramatic look like this one, it's all about building the colors. So notice I went in with a light peachy pinky color then I went in with a ma magenta and now I'm doing a purple so now on the outer V only I'm gonna apply the deepest purple from that palette <laughs> which is this one here y'all are really quiet though y'all not asking a question because they're probably just like, wow. Right, so remember this one goes on the out of your alone, right guys?
Guys, so after you show that color, you can just use the other D. Use a smaller blending brush and you just blend it out mm. towards the inner part. You do windshield wiper blending motion. The outer part here, you do circular motion. So this way you still see all the colors that you placed before but it will be in a gradient going upwards towards the brow bone. Princess Visha, your time could be any time. Just book an appointment with me. <laughs> yes, hey mom, I'm loving it too. I'm loving it. I remember when you're blending, you use a very light hand to blend, right? I always tell you guys to use hold the brush behind the ferrule. So that way you get less pressure applied on the brush while you're blending. Remember, it's circular motions on this side. Winch your wiper towards the inner part. Where am I going to go now? <laughs> and remember, you find that one side looks darker than the other. That's why it's so important to use a little bit first and then you could always add after. Right, so now we're going to go with our brow bone color. And I love it! I love it! <laughs> For so the brow bone color, I'm going to, I'm going to use. Um, well, this one isn't too budget friendly, but this is uh, Makeup Geek Cosmetics Shimmer Shimmer. We do have to bring it in towards the inner part. Always keep it arch and backwards. After you've applied it, you just want to blend it off. Yes, it's like he's taking your natural beauty and enhancing it. He's not changing your look, he just enhancing. So now we're going to use this. Sarah understands you. Yes, me and Sarah go way back. Hi, Julia. She understands you. So now we're going to take this black opal duo. And we're going to use this on the lid. This is a kind of skin tone goldish color. This is just to act as a base for the shot, the glitter that we're going to put on. This is so amazing. Hi, Kizzy. Kizzy, the feel of the brush is touching your face is amazing. 
Que bien no es. <risa> Say hi. Mm -hmm. So now that you finish put down your lid color, you could always go back in with the darkest color just to deepen up that crease a little, just to add some intensity. Because this look is a dramatic Okay, so now we're gonna go in with wing liner. Ooh, I love wings. I love this part. So, for this part, you tell the model to look up, but for in your face, look up too. You just have to follow your natural water line. And you draw a line going upwards toward the crease. And then you close and bring your line down to make a triangle to connect. You just follow through the line going straight across the lid. Right after you do that, you're going in with the Inglot 77 gel liner. And I'm just going over that line. And whenever I do glitter on the eyes, I like to do the wing first. Because when you do glitter on the eyes, it's harder to draw your wing liner on after. I don't use liquid liner because my hand shakes so I can't do it that way so this is just another way that you can do it whenever you're doing glitter first so you never carry the line above your crease right unless you're doing like a super dramatic look like maybe for drag or a drag inspired look and always remember tick on the end send that towards the tear duct
Wow. So I'd be using Elf Lock and Seal and Gold Glitter. Feeling nice. I'm using a synthetic. When you're doing glitter, it's hard to do it on yourself because you need to leave your eyes closed for a while so that the glitter can dry. So while that dries, we're gonna go in with this. Hi with me. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Matte and Polish in cappuccino on her. But first we're gonna be using this inexpensive primer that I got that sassy sweet yesterday. It's the A O A silicone based primer. So you're just gonna put a little bit onto your hand and put it on to the client's face in the T zone areas. So that's the chin, the upper lip, the nose, forehead, essentially the areas that you would oil up. What this does, this one helps to minimize pores and it helps with the longevity of your foundation.
Yes, yeah, Julia, this is a regular friend of mine. <laughs> Funny, that's so true for me. Tiny touchy faces see a difference. Even when you put simple as moisturizer, right? <laughs> simple as moisturizer, you see a difference. Right, so I'm just going in with Thanks, some. Okay. Hi, Sadie. Thanks, Kizzy. So now I'm going in with a little lip balm. I forgot to put it on when we started, but that's okay. Karen is here. Hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. Karen. Hi, Karen. <laughs> yes, Juliet. It smells nice and it's minty, so it tastes nice too. <laughs> Karen. 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 This is probably kind of Karen. 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 Right, so we'll be using a very inexpensive brush again because it is beauty on a budget and it's still looking fabulous even though it's beauty on a budget. This brush you can get at Wonderful World, it's only like $60 royal and some word I can't pronounce. Julia, <laughs> so I can't help it. Maybe so. if I eat it all, he will apply more. <laughs> When I'm done here, the man might eat me. I love my eyes. Wow. Look at the guys. Look at it. Right, so remember what I told you guys last time over the foundation. It's always pattern motions. You don't glide. Thank you. Y'all, I need to find a place to go. I can't just do makeup and go home. You don't hide beauty. So right, so not a good way like when you go to no disrespect to Pennywise, but like when you go to Pennywise and those girls don't really know much. <laughs> I have I to mean show that, up. <laughs> I mean that with utmost respect. Um, <laughs> the ones that are the reps for the stores, they, they know more. Like the specific ones, like if it's the L'Oreal person, you'd go to Keisha or Lisa. I, I, I can't remember the others' names, but I know Keisha and Lisa from L'Oreal. In fact, this is intrinsic, by the way. But to know a good way, like if the foundation matches your skin tone, go to Pennywise or whichever beauty counter it is without any makeup on, obviously. And let the wrap test the foundation on your jawline, which is here. And leave it on for like about five minutes and then go in natural light. And if it is you can't see it, then it's a good match for you. Anything that's ashy or too dark, is a bad match obviously and especially when you put powder on that it's gonna look worse so Julia tell me to show up with my eyes but how could I not <laughs> how could I not When you reach the forehead area, that's the only area of the face that you're allowed to actually carry the brush upwards and, and swipe. You don't necessarily have to pat. But always remember that you carry the foundation into the hairline. Remember the first time I couldn't go into the hairline with Carvel because she had sunburn. How is it looking so far guys? Do you all like how it's looking? I know Julia, I love how it looks. She said she remembered the other girl had December. 
you can bring the foundation down onto the neckline slightly if you want. See the <laughs> not all, not all. There are some Pennywise staff that are excellent. But if you want a proper match the furniture, then just go to the reps. Oh, for Sasha, Ebony is amazing. I'm noticing I'm leaving all the area under the eyes because that's where I'll be using the concealer. And I don't use foundation in that area and then put concealer because then it would get even heavier and then start a crease. Let me just love purple. Yes, Whitney, that's my favorite color as well. So, any opportunity when I go to a client and they tell me they're wearing purple, I get instantly happy. So now we're going in with our Ali Girl for Concealer. My name is Katrina. That's this. And it's in the shade. I love in Juliet personality. Fawn. Right now. Yes, Juliet is an amazing. I love in Juliet. Juliet, add me on Facebook. Katrina Mohammed. She is. Yes. That's how I met. That's how I met. Juliet. So I, I just put some onto my mixing palette. So you can use the tube directly onto your skin if it's for your personal use. If it's for someone else and you're a makeup artist, you don't want to cross contaminate. So I would use a brush. So it's on the areas that light hits your face. So that's down the bridge of your nose. On the cupid's bow if you wish to. Some people don't like to do it. Under the eyes. And on the center of the chin. When you do eyes first, you have the opportunity to clean up the edges of your eyes with concealer. So you get a nice crisp line going. But even if you don't do eyes first, you can still do that with an uh, angle brush and concealer after. Even when your face like this, the makeup still pops. Look at it. I bought this beauty blender from Swassy Sweet yesterday as well. They had a sale, so obviously I had to buy everything. This is really soft and... Sadie, I use black opal religiously in my kit. When I started off makeup um, about seven years ago, that was the foundation of choice for me, but then I realized and learned as I was gradually growing in the business that every client has a different skin type and different foundations for different levels of coverage so now I use black opal mostly for contouring because I realized that because of our climate even though it's a semi-local brand um, it's very oily and for people that when they go into the sun, sorry guys, but sometimes I'm concentrating on what I'm doing and I get sidetracked with the explanation. <laughs> so yes. You see that's when you're passionate about what you just do. You're into what you're doing right now. Okay, so this is the first time I'm using this beauty blender. I know yet yeah, I know the last time I did a live I said that I prefer the smaller ones, but this is really good. Sorry I only picked up one now. Right, so you're just passing and blending out the concealer that you just put all over. Right, back to the black opal, see the, the black opal gets a little oily. And that's not cute. No matter what primer you use, that black opal is still going to oil up all over. Yes, yeah, Sarah. About time you joined us, Priya. <laughs> So now with a clean foundation brush, or you could use the same one that you used to put the foundation on just now, 
you just blend out the line between the concealer and the foundation just to have a seamless finish because you don't want to be walking down the street and or at the event and you're seeing your highlight line that's not cute sorry about that guys sorry about that guys <laughs> i was getting a call <laughs> you had to make me. I don't understand for you. Sponge, the Chinese. <laughs> Why Julia be here? Julia, like yes. <laughs> a sponge is not going to work. It's not. These sponges are very, very soft. So like, you know, like when you have like an old piece of sponge, it's it's not going to, it just blends seamlessly. A, a piece of sponge is not going to do that. How about a wedge? How about a you can use a wedge if you want to, but I, I, I personally like it. And yes, Priya, I made you out. Hopefully the next person who will be in the chair is going to be you. Right, so now you can use the uh, you can either use your concealer or your foundation just to clean up the the line to go in line with your wing so that a little tip there. I'm so loving my wing right now. Some people don't like the crisp line, it all depends on your preference. I think it looks good, so I do it. I set it all up to you. And for this part, you can use a wedge because of the shape of it, so it can actually reach under the eye. Okay, Sadie. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. So you see how the line, how it lined up nicely there now. Look up for me. No, that's Karen. Karen. Thanks, kids. That concealer with. Yeah, Stephanie. Stephanie, you see how my mask on there? You know Stephanie? No. Okay. <laughs> right, so we're just blending out this little area here that the concealer left with a little bit of foundation. I always remember when you're doing makeup, the only lines you should have on your face are your wing liner. Unless you're doing like a little tribal makeup, then so you should never have any lines. And I've used all different brands of found it, um, concealer, sorry, and I've always gone back to the LA Girl. Not because it's cheap, it's because it actually works good. Now I'm going in with the black opal. Yeah, I want to know if it's a good idea to use scotch tape. Who? Julia. 
if you if you if you like you can use scotch tape i personally don't like scotch tape because it's not professional in my point of view but would it affect the foundation like it off if you're doing eyes first you can definitely do the scotch tape but if you're doing it after it would it would take away from the foundation so this is La Coupole foundation stick in nutmeg I'm not contouring too too much because the look is dramatic so we don't want to look in draggish at the end of it all so this is nutmeg this is just like one and a half shade darker than her complexion so this is just to give definition it's not but too much of the contouring aspect Kill Amelia for sure I'm just sitting here wondering where can I go? I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't mean for y'all to hear that. Whatever. <laughs> right, so it's on the cheekbones, on the forehead, the hairline, I should say, not on the forehead, and the jawline as well. And of course, the nose, on the bridge of the nose, not on the sides of the nose, on the bridge of the nose. Sometimes if you do a contour too wide or too thin, it can actually make your nose look bigger or smaller. So it's good to know the correct way to do it. So it's on the bridge of the nose. And it's not the same nose contour for any client, it's a different nose contour for each client. I'm just going to warm up the forehead a little more with a slightly Sorry, darker I don't shade. Know if I use a delicate brow. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What in particular, Karen? Okay, then, Smile. Smile. Karen, we're somewhere. Or? I just want to warm up the, the sides of the forehead a little bit because I find like the nutmeg didn't do much but just there a little now I'm taking off the brush that I use without any foundation in it just to blend upwards for the cheek contour and just to blend this in seamlessly blend downwards and up into the hairline downwards for the jaw contour continue looking up right now we're going in with the sasha profile Thank you, Amelia. We're going to be using Perfect Tan as her highlight shade. And we're going to put this on all of the areas that we put the Elegil Pro Conceal, which is on the bridge of the nose. On the cupid's bow, center of the chin, and on the eye. Thank you, Amelia. Oh, okay, Karen. Um. The only product that I actually used from Benefit was the Professional Primer Mainly because it's not readily available in Trinidad But I saw some of the local suppliers having it in stock now So And then for her overall shade we're gonna use Perfect Honey To put everywhere that we did not use the Perfect Tan I 
I know a lot of people like to bash Sasha. I'm saying it again recently. They up the game, so you can probably give it a try. I can't stop looking at myself, my eyes. So now we're gonna go in with a translucent product from Black Opal. And instead of using the buttercup, I'm using this to put on the areas that we highlighted. Like how they would say that you're baking. But I personally don't like to bake for too long. Depending on the shade of powder, if you don't use the correct shade, it could look ashy. Look ashy. So I just put it on, and like less than five minutes after, I would dust it away. I know it looks like a lot of makeup, but it's not. It doesn't feel like a lot. You know, normally it would feel like it's a heavy with a cake in. Okay. So now I'm going in with the Ellie Girl gel liner. So you just line the waterline and connect your wing with it. You go in the waterline and you can just come a little slightly lower as well. Well, because this is a dramatic look, wow. we're going to amp it up slightly more. Wow. I'm actually going to be doing an ombre lip. I know people wow. say, I know people say that you can't do colored eyes and colored lips, but that's something of the past. This is the just get excited over the eyes. <laughs> under the waterline, we're going to be using the same LA Girl, but we're going to be putting it in a aqua. Wow. So this is going under where we place the black. And if you notice, like the full color payoff is not entirely there. I can already wow. see in it. Um, what I do is, what you could possibly do is, you can actually like add a little shadow on top of that if you want to make it more. I know right guys wow look like wow. boost the color a little more I'm gonna be using a Juvia's Place uh, masquerade palette and I'm gonna be using this color so you can take an angle brush you can take a small smudge brush and just press the shadow onto the liner for it to pop more just like how your eyeshadow primer acts for your shadow to pop more, this liner acts like a primer for the color to pop more. So you see how it shows up more now? <laughs> you are seeing this? And remember, the only products that we use today are, well, not all, but most of them you can get at wonderful world and pennywise and you know readily available so you don't need to go online and wait for the products and you all know i'm not going to wash my face <laughs> i actually had a client yesterday she was from tobago actually two and they said that after i was completed with their face they said that they were not going to wash their faces this morning they sent me pictures faces still intact but they changed the lip color and they said that they're going to go back to Tobago today and go to work with the makeup tomorrow. I actually did that. I told them not to because that is not safe. It's not healthy for your skin. It could clog your pores. But they insisted that it looked so good. That people would want to take it off. Oh my. Can't wash this off. 
Look at this. So you see after we dust away the baking, quote unquote baking, it still looks like skin. It doesn't look like I help I hate to see the, the, the kinda cakey, ashy kinda effect. And when you do lies on Facebook, there's no way that you could filter the video. So just saying, this is what you see is what you get. Right. So now we're gonna use that same wow. color that we use on the brow bone, which is the makeup gig shimmer shimmer. And we're gonna pop this into the tear duct area. And this basically just opens up that area. Wow, it doesn't matter what you have on with this makeup, you still look amazing. And this could easily work as a, a carnival something, like if your costume is pink or purple or even blue, because not necessarily, because your costume is pink, you're going to do pink makeup, that just looks a little tacky in my opinion, but everybody is entitled to their own opinion. Brows, we are going to just darken it back a bit. So I'm just using a regular brown eyeshadow to do so. So just to, if maybe any powder may have gone into the brows, this is just to clean it back up. And I didn't get a chance to post the pictures on the last live yet. So maybe when I post that one, I'll post this one. Diane, you can inbox me and I would give you all details in reference to bookings. You can always look back at it tiny. It's gonna be up to stay. I'm not gonna be taking down any of the videos. I'm going back in with the Sasha Pro Powder Foundation Palette. And I'm just going in with the Perfect Copper. And I'm just gonna reinforce my contour. Small and down that forehead. Not that her forehead is big, but. Hey! <laughs> we're just, you know, doing. You can see that. And then we're going in on your cheekbone, but a good way to do your contour is you actually because everybody's face is different, so you actually feel for the cheekbone and you go right there. Like you know, everybody teaches that it's from the air to the 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 air to the lip. That's not true. You actually have to feel for that cheekbone, and that's how you know where to do the contour. You just do a little on the jawline as well. And I'm going back onto the nose now, but we're not going in with that dark of a shade. We probably use like spice. Oh, thank you, Diane. That's really nice of you to see. Yes, Marissa, you went and do something and come back. You're not looking at it intentively. Yes, you have me to do your makeup for whenever, but it's good to learn as well. And I am more than open to give any tips that you all may want to know about. Anything that you all want to ask, just inbox me. I might respond one time, but I will respond. I don't even think I touch my face this gentle. <laughs> I am all about sharing my knowledge because the people that I learned from, they were very generous with sharing their knowledge with me, so... Just make your routine and Oh, well, I'm fasting, Marissa, so please keep that off the live. Uh, Amelia, I am from Aruka. Very close to Trinity Moor. 
hope you are not stopping. Right, so we're going to blush now. We're going to be using the Sasha Blush Palette. We're going to be using our fluffy elf blush brush. I don't know how amazing that one and feel. Come on. And I'm going to be using this pink shade. And remember, the blush tapping motions and blush shouldn't be looking like it <laughs> it should just be blended in nicely Chinese, I'll let you know <laughs> so you see how that just defines the cheekbones even more I like the highlighter for last. No, 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 no. You're amazing person. Amazing what? You're amazing person. Oh. Yes. So now we're going in with these lovely lashes that we used last mm. time. They're my favorite, so I use them a lot. Okay. Yes, Chinese. <laughs> uh, remember, I told you all you bend the, the packaging upwards and you pull away. You don't have a pull from one side because it will damage the shape of the lash. Then you measure the client's size of the eye and then you cut off the excess from the end. Where am I going to go now? You're going to go now. The Globies and an H2O eyelash, blue and deep. It was. Of course. I'm not wasting it. <laughs> wow, yes. So you just wait for the glue to you just put a very thin layer. Chinese or uh, Libra as well, my bed is Saturday. You're a very good person. Who's laughing? Mm -hmm. Okay. Happy birthday in advance, Chinese. Right, so we're putting on the lashes now. Open. Wow. So you see the difference that lashes make? Wow. Diane would like to know what beam is this? This is the duo in deep. But um, I think I think amazing. Shine has a glue and it works really good. Thank you. Thank you, Chinese. I'm accepting gifts from now. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Hi, Lira. Hi, Lira. Marissa, what can do a live what? Can do a live with me, haha, uh -huh, when it comes to applying lashes on my basket. <laughs> <laughs> yes, when I'm applying lashes on Marissa, she has to come off the chair and walk all the way out to the main road and then come back. Wow! Yes. <laughs> Okay. 
Wow. Is that Nikki Augustine I see there? <laughs> Wicked Livari, why? K A T R I N A, Lira. Yes, Wicked Livari, why? <laughs> Don't change my name. <laughs> right, so now we're going to do the lips. I'm going to remember it's beauty in a budget. So, this is a Ramel lip liner. Everything is basically what you could get locally. So, you all know my feeling like it's my birthday too. So now we're going to go in with a deep lip liner. This is Wine by Ramel. You can get this at Pennywise. Now because makeup is cheap means that it cannot look good. And this is just a perfect example of that. It's all in the technique. And it probably looks like it doesn't match right now, but I assure you it will look good when I'm done. Right, so I just filled the entire lip with the lip liner. And then now I'm going in with Fabric Cosmetics. Wrap it up. You know every time you do my lips, I can I look like I have lips. This is a very deep, dark purple color. <laughs> Actually, Amelia, um, my sisters don't ask me to do their makeup that often. They don't take advantage. So first I'm putting on the deep purplish color on the entire lip. I don't know why it's looking brown though, but it's not brown. Sasha Showstopper, which is a hot pink. It's like really pink.
Okay, so I don't know why Thank they you look looking like that. Thank um, you, Marisa. Kind of not the way they look looking. I'm gonna try to the color, <laughs> the shoe, because it's not, it's not that browny color. No, but like I see it now, though. Pasas con la red. Tanque que sí. Tanque Karen. Karen said you're gifted. Keep up the great job. Thanks, Karen. Now, just going back in with with the foundation, just to clean up the lip a bit. You all see the true color of the lips when I post pictures, because it's not showing the way it should. Red lips? No, no. Oh, yeah, red lips, you, yes. Alright, I'm going to mascara now. Ooh, I love mascara. <laughs> Using the Rimmel Scandal Eye because you want in the orange container. message after the live. <laughs> Sasha, <laughs> infamous Sasha, fix it spray that people will be bashing. Close <laughs> eyes. And you just give a general spray. And now I'm going in with the Sasha blush palette again. I'm going in with this shade here to highlight. Okay, this is not budget friendly, but <laughs> and we're going in with Moonstone. And we're just going on top of the first highlight that we place. So this is the combination that blinds. And then now I'm going in with the dual fiber brush. Just to blend everything in so it looks like a healthy glow and not like you just Slap highlight on your face. Mm. 
Can you see that healthy glue? See? And I'm just going to spray her face one more time with not too budget friendly, but this is the Sasha Six Six Spray. And that's it, guys. Do you all like how it looks? <laughs> I love it. Never will I. I want to make sure you have all your equipment when my face is ready to be done. I just want to blend the purple in a little more with a small smudgy brush. Right. Do y'all like how it looks? Thanks, Juliet. Thanks, Thanks Kizzy. Juliet. Thank you, Lyra. Thank you, Lyra. Thank you, Juliet. Thank you, Cindy. Wow, I love my lips, though. Mm -hmm. my lips. And you can see that her skin looks like skin. It's not filtered or anything. It's all her skin. All me. And it's just when makeup is done the correct way, when you take pictures out, <laughs> it just photographs well. Put it. Do you all have any questions? Yeah, I'm here in the corner looking a hot mess, <laughs> but... Yeah, she does has, she does have nice skin. Thank you, mm -hmm. except for this pimple right there. But thanks, Amelia. Thank you, Rakesh. Shania. Thank you, Shania. You know how we do, Shania. Yes, Juliet. And it feels light. Okay, so the lip is showing up a little better now. Oh, sorry, the belly. Yeah, I thought that sounded. You know, a fella told me, he said, it doesn't matter how you look. Wait, because you're pretty. Yes, Kizzy, she's going to church way. now. <laughs> oh my, yes, that is true. So, when the pastor bless my car, he's going to bless my face. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give him my call card. I'm going to take you with me so he will bless your hands. <laughs> What's all you think? Take okay, him to guys. Church well, mm -hmm. we're going to go now. Yes, because I have to find somewhere to go now to show up this. Yes, I'm going to take a couple pictures and I will, <laughs> I will post it <laughs> when I post the other one. We had to have God people on our side, so probably something like that, Juliet. Yes, Diane. Last time I didn't want to do too much. Uh, I just wanted to give you all a taste of what I can do, but... This is more than a taste now. But more is to come, so hope you all continue looking on with me. So bye. Bye. bye.